Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Anglesey. First time we've had all these cars out. It's going to be a great day. Enjoy yourselves. and it's the first time we've put all the guest drivers together. They're getting runs against the other Pragas. I think um, to be on track with so many Pragas is, is unusual so far. You know, it's, it's the first time this has happened. The guest drivers seem to be appreciating it at the moment. We are in day two of our three day exclusive test here, which is quite a big day, for, well, quite a big kind of event for us because it's the first time that we've had all the cars on track. I am Jack Fabby, I'm a professional racing driver. I am also uh, the man who looks after all five of the Praga guest cars back at the workshop. Hey, Jack is a bit of a secret weapon because he is, well, he knows the car so well. You know, he does a lot of the development, a lot of the setup, working on the cars. So not only does he know it from a driving point of view, but he knows how the car fits together. Racing with Jack this season does come with quite a bit of pressure because having come so close to winning the championship outright last year, he was, you know, obviously very frustrated. I was hindered by other things last year that stopped us from winning the championship. But I said to him, if he wants to win the championship this year and have a Praga at the front, then he needs to put me in the car. So this is my best chance to win the championship this year. I've got the other best driver in the car with me, so there's no excuses really. In many ways, yeah, it's the best thing to have a teammate like that who wants to win and is, has that determination, that, that drive to work hard and find every little game. But equally, it means that I have to step up and I have to meet him at the same level. You know, we are in a perfect position to go out there and win the Brit Car Championship this year. Yeah, it's fantastic and the nice thing is I can't actually tell if that was Jem or Jimmy driving by which is great actually because I mean Jem and Jimmy are a great example of what we're trying to do where we're putting a, a real novice, a novice driver like Jimmy Broadbent with um, an experienced driver like Jem Hepworth who's the current sprint car champion. Yeah, so this year I'm teamed up with Jimmy Broadbent who is a, you know, a famous sim racer so I mean, it is going to be different because he's not ever, you know, done real life racing before. Um, but I have a lot of confidence in him because he's got a racing head because of sim racing. He'll know, he knows what to think when driving, there's cars around him. He knows how to ho overtake and I just think all of that sim work is going to, he's going to use that and bring that to the race. And People keep describing this progress in me as a big cart, so I'm hoping the jump will be not as hard as I think it will be. But when I walked up to the car today, it was, yeah, <laughs> it started to sink in that this, you're driving this. This isn't, isn't just a picture you've been sent or a uh, car in a sim you've been practicing, and this is the real thing. Any other questions? Really? Uh, sure, you'll have some when you come back in. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're going to see if sim racing has had an effect. I've been sim racing since I was about 20 or so. Yeah, I'm curious as well to see if it pays off. Obviously, it would be amazing to win the championship again, but also I'm just happy to be in the Praga again because I absolutely love the car and I just, I want to I wanna keep racing it because it's, it's just so enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, I think you want to win the championship again, but um, I think that's a little bit unrealistic for us. So as much as I want to be big, yes, yeah, do it. I think that best case scenario, I would love us to get a podium at some point. That would be amazing. Jimmy Broadbent, <laughs> you're a racing driver. I'm a very sweaty man is what I am. <laughs> How was that? It's, uh, it's a lot better than I thought it would be in, a, in, a, in the kindest way possible. I was expecting to have to like get used to it being like a racing car, but it's so welcoming. You know? On the second lap, I felt like I could, I could drive it into corners. And by the time we were finished, I was sixth gear at the back of the straight, turning it in. It, it's so responsive. I've never felt anything like that before, so um, my brain's still trying to process it a little bit, but it's fast. <laughs> oh, 
that way. Hello. How are you? How are you? you, doing? you again? You too? Good, good, good. <laughs> Absolutely ludicrous. This car's delivery has been designed by the car designer Frank Stephenson. Frank is known for a whole range of iconic cars from Mini to McLaren 12C, McLaren P1, Maserati MC12, Fiat 500, a couple of Ferraris along the way. So he's got an amazing um, CV. A little bit like applying the makeup to a to an already a beautiful model and uh, making it have a unique look for that that performance that it's going out to have. And I think the the result speaks for itself that the car, you know, it's that typical, it looks like it's moving when it's standing still approach, but it really emphasizes the aeroness of the car. The downforce aspect has been very critical in the design of this car. The effectiveness of the white stripes on the blue, the aero flow of the, uh, of the air currents across the body of the car. And the car will be raced by um, James Walker, Mr. JWW, um, the supercar influencer, and who's a relative novice, but also Mars Lacey from Supercar Driver, who's much more experienced racer. So the two of them will race hey, together. Man. Morning, guys. We're just good. looking at your detail, dude. Good, man. Good, man. Good, man. good, Yeah, good. Really, 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 really good. You good? You look good. And how's it making you feel? You know that you are going to be driving around a Frank <laughs> Stefferson design around the racetrack. Mate, I was nervous enough as it, as it is, but when you put it like that, <laughs> The nerves are up to 11 now. <laughs> when Mark said, uh, he, said he kind of dropped it in a conversation one day, it was like, ah, oh, um, yeah, thanks for doing the design on your car. I was like, sorry, what? My name is Mars Lacey. I'm representing Supercar Driver, racing in the guest driver programme for Praga this year. So my teammate this year is Mr. JWW. Uh, he has a good relationship with Supercar Driver for, for many years, so we were looking for something, a project, if you will, to to bring us both together and here we are we're both sat in a race car together now which we kind of neither of us can still believe i mean i always had a dream of going racing like always but i never knew a if it would happen or b to the level it's happening right now so yeah every time we wake up and think i'm about to go and race a prago it blows my mind racing with my co-pro um miles Lacey. so miles has some so well a lot more experience than I, so he's going to be coaching me and improving me as we go. I think the goal for the end of the season would be to finish without putting a scratch on Frank Stephenson's beautiful livery, but thankfully we've got plenty of opportunities like these test days here at Anglesey. They're so invested in making sure that we're comfortable in the car, you know, everything that could be done to basically maximise our performance. They're totally up for it. it nothing is kind of a, a, a big ask. They just go, yeah, let's get it done. You know, first day of shakedown went really, really well. Got used to the car pretty quickly. Done what we needed to do. No issues for now. Well, good. This is by far the best opportunity that I've ever had. I'm here to be serious. I'm a professional racing driver. My job's to win. I represent Roman Grosjean on the on the simulator and he came up with the with the opportunity to to race with, with Praga and obviously I, I jumped at that opportunity. My teammate is Abby Eaton. Luckily for me she's a very, very experienced driver which means that this is a properly strong pairing. She's got a lot of experience. She's done many different championships in, in various different series and different cars, so she's got a lot of experience under her belt. I think initially when I heard that Gordy was my teammate, um, he's come from karting and um, cars that aren't particularly aero and slick, so um, my kind of main concern, if I did have one, was how quick he'd get up to speed in, in a car such as the Praga. I've only ever driven cars with, with no aerodynamics whatsoever. So training the mind to do that is, is, is a very tricky thing. However, I'm not phased by it. At the end of the day, it's just another thing that I have to learn. And after I learn that, then I can think about pushing the car to its limit. Um, a good friend of mine who also is a, a, a professional racing driver, he says he's the quickest kid he's ever coached. So yeah, I'm going to have to pull my socks up and, and make sure I'm quicker than him. Yeah, I don't have any worries about Gordy. Although, having said that, the installation laps this morning, which are supposed to be, you know, 50%, he came around this last corner, 
sideways, absolutely pinned. So installation laps for Gordy are flat out. So my name's Jay Morton, I'm ex-Special Forces. I just want to get out and just get as many laps done as possible in the car and just, yeah, just start off slow and just build it up and try and stay on track. It's my first season, I'm not a racer. I just want to finish races and, and push it in my own time. There's a small amount of nerves, but I think the nerves are more just about, about my own performance and less about what's going on around me. At the minute, there's no teammate. You know, the guys at Praga are working on getting me a teammate. So yeah, I've not got a race license yet. I did three races for Janetta last year, um, of which I finished second in all of them, but uh, there's only two people in the race. But, uh, <laughs> so I'll miss the first race and then I'll be ready for the next race with Praga. The Praga R1T is essentially a carbon fibre monocoque single seat LMP style car. It's a um, you know aero style car as well, so we rely pretty much on underfloor and, and rear wings. Um, we're looking to get the car to handle its best at 120, 130, 140 miles an hour. Whereas if you tried to do that in a mechanical grip car, you'd be you know straight off in the wall. With aerodynamic cars, you you have to push it around the corner at a higher speed in order to get more grip. With aerodynamics, you have to have the trust that the, the that there is something beyond the mechanical grip. The world of downforce, it's this like mystical power where there's no weight added to the car. Yeah, there is. <laughs> it's a fabulous thing. Driving an aero car is, is just a whole new thing. And not only that, driving it in a field of 30, 40 other cars, that's a whole different thing again. It's interesting because we've got three or four drivers that have never driven anything like this before and you know it's going to be a massive learning curve for them. There is pressure definitely I know that because people expect me to be as fast in real life straight away as I am in the simulator and if you're not people just discount me straight away. It's good nerves but I want to break that seal I want to tear off the race plaster of being on the uh, line and getting that first adrenaline hit out of the way and then just getting in, in it man. Trying to eliminate all the junk out the side of the head and get down to what's important is a difficult bit. And for the guest drivers, that is, this is a new experience for them, a new car for them, something they've never driven anything like this before. Um, if I was in their position, I'd be um, more than worried. I'd be, uh, you know, shitting myself, to be honest.